With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is which of the following feature is common to bacteria, mosses and fungus? The options are mode of nutrition, presence of cell wall, autotrophic nature or body organization. So we need to find out the feature which is possessed by all of these bacteria, mosses as well as the fungi. Right, so let's consider the options one by one. First is mode of nutrition. Now when we talk about the bacteria, Bacteria can either be autotrophic or they can also be heterotrophic, right? They can show both the both types of mode of nutrition. And when we talk about fungi, fungi are saprophytic in nature. So this would be a wrong option because here the mode of nutrition for all these organisms is not common. So this would be wrong. Second is presence of cell wall. This would be a common feature because all these organisms which are given bacteria, mosses as well as fungi, all, the, all of them possess the cell wall. So this would be the correct option for us. Third one is autotrophic mode of nutrition. This would also be wrong as we discussed here. Auto, bacteria can be autotrophic but fungi are not autotrophic. So this is a wrong option. And last one is body organization. This would also be wrong because if we see bacteria, bacteria are unicellular organisms, right? They are unicellular and there is no level of body organization in them. So the last option would also be wrong. The only common feature is the presence of cell wall. Therefore, this would be our right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.